mm -hmm. checks tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. It'll be here. He's just he's just eating souls. Don't worry about it. That was really loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Julian uh, says that if you guys would like to rest for the night, you can have the rest. But if you would like to just take the money and leave me here, that is fine too. I'm just kidding. It's fine. You can go. It's fine. No hard feelings. I completely missed what he said, so I didn't. I would actually to appreciate a good rest in a bed before we get into a big city via teleport. I don't know. We only did like a day, a uh, few hours worth of travel today, didn't we? Yeah, but he's yeah. in a good mood. No, like, like you did your. It's evening. It's evening now. <laughs> okay. So. He's in a good mood. You, you, you hear, like, this loud, like, <laughs> as he's dragging this chest out. Now he's just dragging this chest. And he sets it here at the edge of the table, and he, like, kicks it open, and it pops open, and there's gold, and there's dragon shards inside. Very nice. Julian kind of just looks over. I am sorry, I did not mean to make a joke of the feast. Sorry. You can go, you can go. I said go! <laughs> also, stage performances? What? 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 Melanie, what uh -huh. were you saying about stage performances? What did you say they said about that? You... You would like to stay for the play? There's a play? Yes. You have a play? Yes. When when is the play? Is, is it tonight? The play is. Oops. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. It is. It is every Friday. Okay. Well. Can can you guarantee our mortality if we stay here with you? As a guest? I guess if it makes you feeling better about I Hans and really Sebastian. It. I don't bite us. Don't don't let anyone. Oh no, I wouldn't. It would be somebody else. But yeah, I don't will... don't don't let anyone. Then you must stay here in the cabin. Okay. Do you you really want to Guys, see, the see the play? Dude, what kind of play? What what Fear genre? Is like, no, what? I don't want to. What genre is it? <laughs> is it... Depends on the genre. Genre, you speak so simple-mindedly. This play has no genre. It covers all of the genres. Mm. Julian is it, a true artist. It's, it can leave you with the scares, the cries, the happies. <laughs> all in the same moment. It is a masterpiece. Seda's gonna Are like going look over sick? and beg Firu. You just said you get you you'll, you'll get to go keep, on the boating. You just said you can only keep us safe in the cabin. Does that mean you're not going to keep us safe on the boat? Oh my, Miss Literal! If I keep my word, I keep my word. It's more about where you are the sleepings. That's a buzzkill. Seda's like begging fear like a kid Sam's trying like, to get her mom to get her some candy. Seb's Sam's just like, she almost got killed by your friend. Yes. Hey, I did not expect this. them to be the killing types. Not when I said I would be keeping you safe. They hurt my feelings too. They almost took my book. <laughs> That book was really important to him, guys. He was really happy whenever he saw that. So I think I think he's really so being. What are you? What are you planning? Julian is Julian. I I think Julian is just a crazy collector. I think. Yeah. What are you planning he to do with the book? Things. He's a pirate. That's all he does is collect. That's all he's doing. All he wants to do is giggle at it. That's all. That's all he was doing the entire time. This is Guinness. This is a book of the damned. It helps keep my, my dead ones living a little longer. It gives me conversation. It has all kinds of important history on the dead ones. 
the not dead ones. It it even talks about the the old elves. So you know, <laughs> the 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 dead council. Conversation in the like then it, it, it pans back to him opening the book and it just Rah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Garrett. Yeah. Have you done have you done that locate object for Z's tomb thing? Anytime recently? No. No. What do you mean about the old council? What is, what is that about? And so you'll call yourself an elf? Do I know that in character? <laughs> yeah, no? you, the the undead council. Oh snap! Yeah. Okay. That's not something that you particularly follow, but right, right. That's a thing. I I know of it though. So that's a vampire horror. It's called Van Helsing. <laughs> <laughs> they play Van Helsing as like this horrible monster in like a rubber a rubber Van Helsing suit like they used to do with the horrible Godzilla movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got like a giant rubber stake and, <laughs> and if you And says... Julian's like and Julian during the play is like trying to cling to one of us. Oh this part always scares me. <laughs> <laughs> this gives me the scaries. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, Melanie, do you want to do this? No, not really. I kind Sabre of want to get the storm reach. Like, yeah, and fear is kind of like yeah that. <laughs> okay, it's like hanging but, off of him, still begging. Well, Sabre, if you would Sabre like, has to do what Garrett does. If you would like, you can come here any Fridays, and you always have open invitation to see the boat show. All right, I'm gonna work that. Did you say boat show or butt show? Boat. I said boat show. <laughs> no, talking out of it's character. I heard boat. 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 boat show. <laughs> As you. You just have to listen with your elf ears. Just, just out of curiosity, do you do a butt show too? <laughs> this is something I can't tell you about. <laughs> I told you to ignore the screams, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you staying this night, or are you going to head away now? Sabbath would really like to just get <laughs> Attack of the Butt Pires. <laughs> <laughs> he is a butt pirate. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well then I'll be showing you the way. Who is taking the, the chest of the treasures? Um, I can load up the stuff in my bag, guys. I can as no, well. it's a very big one. You had to like split it up if that's the case. Oh, okay. And kind of yeah, bear taking up your bag. Yeah, you have a bear in your bag. There's still plenty it's of okay. space. Still a pub. There's still plenty. There's still plenty of space in my bag and my backpack. So. Well, this is gold. Like it weighs a lot. Well, this is four thousand gold each plus yeah. two well, dragon shards each. Some I can take some of it. Is what I'm saying. What I mean or is, are we just, putting it on the horse or man or not? You can, you can. <laughs> I, just, I do horse. not want to be offending, but he's the one that can carry the most, right? He's horse, yes. and he's man. He is horse man. Fear's just like, yeah, just, I'm not even offended right now. <laughs> I'll take it, yes. Just, he's just like, I just want to get out of here. Just do, do what you gotta do. <laughs> Julian goes, Okay, here you go. And he just picks it up and walks over to Firu. <laughs> do, do we have this to where we do the tying, or we, do you want to hold it? Are, are we tying it to him? Firu goes to hold it. Give me a strength okay. check. Oh, shit. Firu is pretty good with strength, though. This is 4,000 gold apiece. Especially now that he's got all his demon powers. Can I give him strong. guidance before he does it? Sure. <laughs> he drops it. Shit. He's like, you should give him an ant haul. <laughs> oh, I can. I can give him an ant haul. <laughs> you give him an ant haul, and he goes, 
Okay, much better. I'll just thank you. You should have done that first. My back is a little... Ah. <laughs> and Jolene just goes, Oh, that was... I'm stronger than he is. <laughs> was Julian giddy about this? <laughs> yeah. Julian's just kind of like, it's just that like, and he kind of like gives a little bit of a flex. <laughs> his, his pale, thin arm shows right, like Julian, the faint down. outline of a muscle, and he's just like, this is kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down it was just like you know, take me up on that offer in the future. <sighs> I'm coming back Friday. One of these Fridays. <laughs> Julian looks over to Gary and goes, Now I know why you look at yourself all these times. It's this an it's this good feeling. I do hope to see you all again, but first you must follow me. Let's let's take you to the circle of the teleporting. Okay. Oh, is there any easy way to get back here? What? Uh, is there any easy way to get back here? I mean... Besides traveling. Is this... You could take the the normal travelings. Uh, you may have to ask whoever is the one that's telling, telling porting you. Okay. So you guys all go to a back room back here. <laughs> Sandra, can we keep the vampire? <laughs> I know, I want to keep him. He's so cool. I want to come to one of his plays. <laughs> I do too. It's got to happen. Gonna, Me yeah. and Tay will make, we'll have a vacation plan. We got Kit there. <laughs> Wait, no, I need you like this. We'll, we'll go see. Why? Because I had to select you guys properly. Oh, okay. We'll go and see one of the plays later when one of y'all learns how to teleport us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Sweet. As long so as we he... Can this and not die. He loads you up. Uh, he gets everybody to like stand on this one like 15 foot by 15 yeah, foot teleportation that, circle. It's like that. it's like glowing greens and blues and he goes okay well it was it was pleasure meeting you and thank you for my screamy and this, book. And this takes us to Stormreach. Yes it's taking you to the Stormreaches. It's taking you to the storm reaches. Okay. <laughs> storm reaches? Yeah. Not storm reach? It's all these storm reaches, the city. Jeez. <laughs> you do, are you secondary Miss Literal or what? <laughs> Listen, with you, Julian. I extended day. invitation to come see play. Yes, I wrote it down. Yes. It's in my book. It's I happening. hope to see you soon. Yes. Until then, boop boop, bye bye. Boop, boop. <laughs> As you say boop boop, whew, you teleport. <laughs> boop boop. Yes. You teleport. Oh my God. And you just land square in the marketplace of Stormreach. Tall buildings. There's bridge yeah, there's bridges everywhere above you. There's kind of small towers and stuff like that. Most of the buildings here are about four to five stories tall. Um, but yeah, you, you like pop up in the middle of the evening crowd. It's a bustling nighttime kind of setup here. It's, it's Wait. dusk. Wait, there's a demon horse, a candle lit orc, like froggy skin orc mm -hmm. and an elf in a bikini and two cat girls. Yep. And a 15 foot buff troll of the purple and green variety pushes you guys kind of out of the way like Ugh, get up and he's like dragging this wagon behind him this is this is storm reach in zendrick we are not the weirdest thing that's going to be here that yeah. is true yep i'm gonna make sure you guys aren't blocking any numbers and i'm, and I'm guessing okay. they also would think that you know since teleport is a thing people do teleport into the city yeah that is true they part the yeah, they, they particularly pay no mind to you. <laughs> they just like get out of the way. Boom. And like there are people following this troll in the wagon and they're like they're they're kinda like suddenly like pushing you guys kinda further and further back along the outside of the marketplace alley. <laughs> let's let's find a place to sleep. Oh, out of out of character do we I know that in Sharn they ha we had the money crystals. Mm -hmm. Do those work? in Stormreach, or do they have something similar? 
Uh, yes, the only other place that those worked was Stormreach, but remember you lost your money yeah, crystals. Yeah, said that he was sorry. We lost ours, but can we go to a bank? So oh, eight, is eight. not carrying a bajillion gold around. Yes. I think that actually should be the first place we go. Yes. Not, not tune in. Yes. This place looks so cool. We yeah, are it's pretty awesome. Way too conspicuous. We're not conspicuous at all. Look, there's a troll <laughs> over <We're> there. Carrying... <laughs> We're carrying a ton of straight up it's gold right now. You, you got a you've got a treasure. Ch yeah, he's just carrying this big giant treasure chest, but nobody gives a shit. <laughs> so like, you just saw a troll an entire wagon. And, the, way, and then I like a really so cute far. half elf Thanks. girl bumps into Firu, and like he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." And then he looks down, and the treasure chest is just missing. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Aw, go away, Vice. No, come here, baby. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh. Alright, so yeah, you guys, uh, let's see. I'm trying to re figure out things. All the, the master key is down at the bottom here. Yeah, is there like a you are here sign, like in the mall? Uh, yeah, you guys are in the marketplace. It's. it's very clear. There's text floating in the air right there saying marketplace. Yeah, now. <laughs> I'm trying to look for a bank. Uh, Why don't we just yeah. move everybody's you go to the, the icons bazaar. out of the way yeah. since we're all together and just use one person's icon for now. Yep. Yeah, all let's, right. Let's just, let's just do that. Oh, well, I guess you're using mine then. <laughs> yeah. Who's <laughs> the only one I missed? We can use Floof. Floof looks like a marker. Oh, he does. Oh, he, does. he does. No, That'll Floof's work. really hard for me to click. <laughs> Taking like two or three tries every time. I got lucky that time. <laughs> All right, All right, so go to the bank. All right, so that'll be the bazaar, which is number 11. <laughs> Bug. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, so just this general area. You go to the bank, uh, and you're going to get a token for everybody. Or, sorry, a crystal for everybody. Yeah. All right, you oh, walk up, Mel and Wait, there did are... Melanie, did Melanie get a share, too? Yeah. Yes, Melanie got okay. a shoot. Everybody. Everybody got a shoot. Everybody treated equally. Sure. Uh, freaking, you go up there and there are uh, goblins, gnomes, and dwarves running the counter. Uh, your your waiting line puts the whole party uh, to talk to a goblin. He has very, very, very curly, fluffy hair. Like. Does he have a fro? No, no, no. It's just like it's about an inch tall. It's just. I mean, it's probably the most beautiful perm you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> and the goblin right. kind of looks up at the party and to describe goblins in Pathfinder. And you know what? Let's just... Yeah, and while you're doing that, I'm loving some of the names here. We have... This uh, is your average. Black Rack. Yep. This is your average goblin. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, I was doing a knowledge nature check because I thought goblins didn't have hair. Yeah. Well, I mean, they get hair. They definitely have hair. They get facial hair, okay. and they have, yeah. Hair's not an abnormal thing. But, like, really? when your hair is, like, that shit, <laughs> and you're a goblin, something's up. I really want to see what the red ring is. <laughs> uh, he... What? Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. So, he, he looks up, and he's like, Ah! How can I help you? We need, we need to, to get. We need to make a deposit and get uh, the coin crystals. The coin crystals? Your bank crystal? Yes. That thing. Oh, okay. Where's the money? <laughs> he just hoists the giant one. Wait, 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 wait. We should probably do an insight check and make sure this guy actually works for the bank. <laughs> You guys, like, walked over to a shady corner. <laughs> You're just like, oh, this must be it. <laughs> he, drag, he drags, like, three bodies and, like, four chests. <laughs> okay. He's legit. He's behind a counter. You, you see a little gold-plated name crest, and it just says Smarly Gop. <laughs> so, Smarly Gop. Yeah, Smarly Gop. Right. What's wrong with that? So, <laughs> <laughs> we need one for each of us. And it for how much? Four, it was 4,000 gold each. Okay. And, um, out of character. Are you depositing the, uh, 
Stones too? Out of character, I think we might want to hold on to those until we figure out what we can do with them. The shards? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hold on to the shards for now. Okay, take yeah. those. Yeah, so All I'll, right. I'll put um, me and Fears' as shards. How much are those shards worth? Ah, these are... He pulls out a monocle. Or, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a monocle. Uh, kind of does like this, and then he hits a little gear on the side of it, and it, like, starts extending out. And, like, doing, like, this deal. Uh, and he goes, hmm, they're pretty rough. I'd say maybe about 5,000 apiece. That's pretty good. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, um, yes. <laughs> So he, he, he goes, all right, so we've got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, at 4,000 apiece. All right, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. And he, like, he looks up, like, trying to see what you guys' reactions are to that. Six. Yeah, we're, at this point, we don't give a shit. <laughs> You guys are no fun. Like, <laughs> does does this like tilt with a chest and like it just falls into this hole that opens up in front of him? And then four, or sorry, yeah, four four crystals pop out at first. Ah! Uh, oh shit! Has two more like launch up next to him, and they land on the counter. <laughs> and he slides them. Yeah. A little bit of lag yeah. There. <laughs> Thanks a lot, asshole. <laughs> and he hands each of you a little crystal. Uh, as you pick it up, he just says, hold it under this little, like, it looks like a little etching thing uh, to verify it. And when you hold it under, a little pink light touches your crystal and displays the number of 4,000 on each of the stones. Awesome. And if we did decide that we need to put these crystals on it, we can come back. Hi. Or the shards. Yeah, yeah, you could you could store the shards here for safety, or you can deposit them as currency. Oh, well, I didn't know that we can store them. I'm up for storing ours. Yeah, fantasy yeah. credit card, basically. At least okay. Fantasy bank card. With them. Yeah, we'll... I'll, I'll go ahead and Our store them. Are they all of the same mm -hmm. grade? Yeah, they're all roughly the same shape and size and everything, so... Uh, let's... I'll keep one on me. We can store the rest of them. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Garrett, are you storing yours as well? Melanie's holding on to hers. Yeah, Melanie's booking it after this. Well, I'm hoping... Did Melanie get her money changed over? Yes. Yes! Okay. That's... That's why she, that's why they counted. But, well, that was what I was asking. The reason I was asking is because if she's just leaving afterwards, I'm surprised. Well, it's going to take her some time here, and yeah. if she has to go back to like if it takes her back to Sharn or whatever, mm -hmm. it's it's easier to get it exchanged in Sharn. But she's going to, uh, if you guys step away from the counter, she's basically saying, "All right, I'm going to find myself a place to stay. Good luck to you guys. I'm going to find out what happened with Sharn, if it's safe to go back to, and all that." Uh, can, if it's not, and can can we? You decide you want to come with us some more. I don't think you probably do, but if you, by some crazy reason, decide to, just look for us. We're yep. kind of hard to miss. You got that right. Yeah. I wanted to learn more. <laughs> she she doesn't want to be around this party anymore, <laughs> and she kind of like. She pulls her hood down and, like, does a movement like this and then pulls her hood back over or from over her head. And uh, she's a man now, and she's just walking. He's, he's walking away. I, I asked if we could contact them in any way. Walking away. <laughs> she, she doesn't want you to contact her. <laughs> away. All right, we lost everything, there. then. We lost everything on the shipwreck. Yeah. Remember Kaz's letter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do? I'm going to pout. Um, 
need to find a place to stay. That is our second thing, and then we can do whatever we want. We can just relax. After, after we find a place to stay, I think, to wanna, stay. I think I want to go shopping. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Mind. You guys have so much money that I'm not even going to count against uh, places to stay, uh, unless it's place? for monthly. Yeah, you probably have enough to buy places here. It's expensive, but you probably have enough now. Let's do it. Stay my place. Yeah, let's let's buy a group house. Yeah, if you spend money together, you could definitely buy a place. Or you could do like you guys are high enough level that you can start recruiting. You can do downtime things. You can invest in places. You can have places built. You could. I mean, you could just straight up buy a shop if you wanted to. I want to invest in Microsoft. Uh, Shy, can you get me the uh, ultimate I've campaign? I've got a question. If you yes. bought like an artificer shop, yeah. Would that mean that the artificer there could enhance and improve your stuff for you for way cheaper or something? Uh, yes, but it requires investing in. You've got to get a high enough level Sorry, one. Ultimate, ultimate, equipment. ultimate campaign. It's the red one. Right there in front of you. Uh, the first thing we're going to do after we get a room is not go shopping is we're going to go send a letter. No, we didn't. It's not been a year, so. But still... Things happen in Sharn, and they have no idea if we're alive. Nobody had any idea if we were alive. Nobody was looking for us. Uh, your family? is the only person with experience in this. She ended up with Vice uh, opening a brothel. It doesn't, it doesn't make you a whole lot of money. money. In yes. fact, it, the places ended up ending up costing you money at first. Mm -hmm. but, yes, but the value that they provide as far as goods and services that you're able to get... Her brothel hosted a Pick secret... Up. This is also where you might want to look into leadership as a feat. So can, can Sabrath find somebody who will... Is there like a postal service in Stormreach? Yeah, that absolutely. Every so it's, often when a ship goes and they take the mail? They they have a small enclave for um, Civis messaging. Okay. It's is it's a bit more expensive. Do they send letters? You can get message, but it's a bit more expensive. How much is it? Uh, remember, I think it was like a uh, thousand gold the last time, so it'd be fifteen hundred here. But that was that was for sending. I'm talking about just having a letter delivered, like. Oh no, 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 the, the letter. I don't even care about the cost. Uh, that's what I mean. Okay. Magical, then it's different. Okay, so I can I can send a letter to Bastion and let him know about the dragon thing and. Also, Charn just and... to give you guys an example, this is like if you wanted to buy taverns and stuff. Yeah, they have floor like, plans and everything. Yeah. You can just scan and send it over to Well, us. yeah, I, have, I already have on my computer. Um, yeah, like if you wanted to invest in a fort, you get a whole page of like all these little cool details. So yeah, there's a lot you can do. We can just it, but it takes downtime. It takes waiting around, buy a three going out and doing different that things. We always have something to come back to, to relax. Correct. We tried that with an apartment in Sharn. Mm hmm yeah, but this place is... I don't... Well, I was about to say, I don't know if a dragon would want to blow up Stormreach, but, um... We're in I imagine that it would have a worse thing harder time in Stormreach, honestly. Since this well, is where all the really, really competent adventurers go. I think that me and Fear want to buy some place for ourselves. <laughs> at least. Just straight up go in and buy a place? Yeah. How much would a small three-bedroom house cost? A small three-bedroom house. Give me my table of contents, please. Thank you. There we go. I'm also trying to think what else I could get with the money to help I... upgrade Saber's stuff. All I know is I need a freaking alchemy table. You can get one in in your place. You can get you a can get an alchemy shop. Too. You can get a portable alchemy table for pretty cheap. Yeah, I know like... Xander was saying, "Hey, buy an alchemy shop." <laughs> Let's see. Um. Hell, you could buy a guild house for twenty six hundred. A one bedroom house, and this would include. Uh, sorry, let me do three here. That's three bedrooms, so we can add two hundred apiece. So at, we'll call it seventeen hundred, you can get a three bedroom house, one kitchen, one bathroom, 
sewer access, uh, a sitting room, basically a living room, and a storage as well. You can buy an inn for 23 so I'd actually, actually have to count up higher because this is a storm reach, so we'd call it 2000 For the house? Yeah, 2000 for a house. How much for an inn? We'd be looking at 3500 But an inn brings in income as well. Mm-hmm. Brings in story rumors, things like that. It, it brings, it, yeah, it brings in other stuff. We need to hire workers mm -hmm. and maids to clean the rooms because I don't want to be cleaning these rooms. Well, you'll you end up paying workers. It's going to be uh, right. You you get them by buying the place. People come in and want to be hired, right. and then you pay wages. You can start a magical academy for sixty-five hundred. What's a um. <laughs> A single one bedroom house. You want to really storage. splurge? You can spend nine thousand and get a noble villa. What, What's that? A noble villa. Oh. Uh, that's a few baths. That's four bedrooms, an a, an actual bath, a bar, two courtyards, four defensive walls, an escape route. Uh, bed like a sitting room, two two furnishing rooms basically, a garden, Jeez. a gatehouse, a kitchen, one labyrinth, laundry. Lavatory, lodging, two offices, two secret rooms, two sitting rooms on top of the other furnishings, one stall, one statue, two storages, one trophy room, and a vault. It's a sprawling that manor would, with luxurious grounds. That's that it. would cost each of us 1,800 gold. Which isn't a lot. Would I'm it come to 2,100, you get a palace. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing a hunt. That's fine. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. You you name it, that's a building. Hell, you can open up a fight club for 600 gold. <laughs> we can have a fight <laughs> Not club joking. in our villa. Right there. I was going to say, we could fight probably club. have fight, I was gonna say, we could probably have the fight clubs in our uh, courtyards. Mm-hmm. Who wants to just straight up come into Storm Region to on day one buy a villa? <laughs> I don't think there's Are many we... people that would do that. You want an entourage? 600. You get two there, lackeys, a driver, and a bureaucrat. I've, I've got a better question, and since it's right near the end of the night, do y'all want to just use our GM hint and ask if it's likely that we're going to be in this area for a while? I'm not going to make you waste a GM hint on it. Oh, hey, it's the end of the night if you want to waste it, but... Uh, Me and Fury are it's, here. It's up this to you guys. We be. It's up to you guys. Ultimately. I wouldn't mind hanging out here. It's, it's up to you guys. If you, do you want to set a base up here? This is an open world campaign. I mean, Tim, we can always will, sell it back. Will a driving force plot point hit like Sharn? Devastating events are very rare in my campaigns. I happen to roll a really rare one. Will I roll another really rare, rare one? No. I will fudge Probably. that roll. <laughs> I was going to say, with the way our rolls it's supposed go? To be, no, yes. it's supposed to be a rare thing. Mm -hmm. That that was just a rare plot point that was on my table. Ended up rolling it. So I think that if y'all don't want to buy something together, that oh, let's do it. Are at least getting Mechanically started. speaking, as the as since you're using a GM hit, I might as well like actually make it worth it. Mechanically speaking, rare events are supposed to happen on my table once every ten years. So if you spend ten years of downtime here, it's a chance, a uh, much higher chance of happening. Okay, I honestly think that. Yes, we should probably go ahead and do it. And yes, we should get something that's defensible. I mean, having the vault and stuff, that's You're a... About the villa. Yeah, that's a huge okay. long-term expense that we right now have plenty of liquidity to get. Yes. We're not always going to have our money in gold. Mm -hmm. We will probably often just have the, money... The real choice right. will be, do you want to do that? Or do you want to do something like a guild hall or something like that? Do you want to start an organization which will acquire information and stuff for you? Oh, I thought we were talking about the villa thing that had. The yeah, you you, you the are. Hall was pretty cheap, though. The the noble villa is a sprawling manor with luxurious grounds, and that's it. It doesn't uh, doesn't do anything else for you. It's a really the nice place to live. Pretty cheap, didn't you say? A <laughs> guild hall, yes, a guild hall. You can open up a black market and everything. Jeez, I forgot about all the cool shit in this. I think you said the guild hall was only like six hundred gold in the book, but you were gonna, you would change it to a thousand. No, 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 that was something else. The guild hall was twenty six hundred in the book, but I was going to change it to thirty five hundred. 
because it's just that that area is more expensive. So 3500 that's a common room, a kitchen, a lavatory, two offices, a secret room, a sitting room, two storages, and three workstations, which would include something like room for an alchemy bench, an actual mm -hmm. alchemy bench. Uh, and with the money that you save on that, you can equip the place. You can actually get guards and things like that. And it leaves you a lot of room to invest in and stuff like that. What would we name this guild? And it's all a very good question. I have no idea. And I have no idea what we should do with investing in that stuff. Right. The, okay, so the basic thing is, uh, with investing, you're, that's moving on into opening a business, and you're trying to get goods and services and stuff like that, which will eventually make the, the buildings pay for themselves. Um, you don't have to bother with that right now. The, the question is, since you guys are actually looking to get a place, is really, do you want to get a personal place or do you want to get a place that will serve as a way to get more plot points thrown at you, basically? Right. I think if we want to do that, it's better to buy an inn. That way yeah. we get the rumors and stuff, and we can live in one of the... It doesn't matter. We can but, live in one of the penthouse suites. Yeah. Essentially. So. And that, that prevents us and from yeah. being able to form an organization. Yeah, an inn. You're looking at 2,500. Bar, bath, bedroom, common room, kitchen, lavatory, lodging, stall, storefront. That's only an inn that holds one bedroom. You have to buy each bedroom separately. And bedrooms. How much are those? Let me. Bedrooms. That's 25 right there. Are let's see here. I think you said a bedroom was two hundred or something. I didn't even look at bedrooms yet. Throne room, vaults, secret room. Secret rooms are three hundred gold. Not a secret room. Just yeah, yeah, room. I know. No, I'm saying to add. Like these are things you can add onto the building. Oh, this is a vault. Yeah, I'll look that up. Vault. Okay, so bedrooms are. Uh, 350 gold apiece and they bring in influence which is what that that's something I'll get into later so 350 so up it by 700 gold to a total of 3100 have an inn with three personal bedrooms and then we uh, want... you need an extra one for so we get some income so, so if no, I no 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 it has lodging lodging for included oh, lodging is, okay yeah, he said he said the inn also comes with lodging. Yeah, so one lodging. Are... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what? One lodging? Yes, I'll I'll explain the lodging in just a second. Uh, vault is three hundred and fifty gold as well, and all right, you said lodging. Let me explain the lodging real fast. Lodging. It is. 20 to 35 squares of lodging. It is enough for private housing and limited storage for up to 10 pe people. Each chamber usually includes two small beds, linens, a chamber pot, and a small table and chair. Yeah, so that's, that's a where simple all the wooden door. Stay at the end. Yes. All right. So, so we're not we don't have a giant sprawling in, but you know, if our business goes well, we can always reinvest or if we want to. Correct. Yeah, and the cool thing more. about um, each of the bedrooms is they bring in influence. Influence is what gets you noticed. The more influence right. the place gets, the better off it, it is. Um, so, so you guys make a small name for yourself just by opening it up, basically. So we better make sure we get good Yelp ads, yeah. Yeah, that'll be up to the lodging and any anything else that you add to the place. You can add all kinds of stuff, stables and all kinds of stuff. You're starting off, you don't even have a stable. All so, right. there, there's a all. stable. A stable is like you gotta kind of think of it like how you would think of it in real life, I guess. There's uh, a few basics that you should have if you're in a place like this. Yeah, like a, a, a torture chamber. One. Oh, well, right, yeah, right, my bad. Stable would be great. All right, they call it a stall. It's a stable, uh, a place to keep one to two horses or one large domestic animal. 
Uh, this includes uh, gates, feed troughs, feed, and straw. You're looking at 300 gold per every one to two horses. And technically, it's divided and, by five. And superior. yeah, and what this does is it also increases your the the money that the inn brings in. It actually gives you guys goods uh, because now the people have a place to basically deliver to and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and um, of course, it can bring you better workers and stuff like that. So. All right. That would be seven sixty each yep. for every. Add the problem. additional. Add the additional. Later, Jen. For that's the... with that's with two extra bedrooms and two, and slots for. You said it's three fifty for every one to two horses, so it'd be <laughs> slot for four horses. Mm -hmm. yep. At thirty eight hundred, which is seven sixty a piece. All right. Not bad at all. And I'll, normally these take days to construct, but I'm going to say that there was one for sale. All right. Was, that you're well, since, for. since we don't have to wait for construction, is there anything else that seems essential? Let's actually sort of push, if you're willing to let us, the GM hint to. Is there anything else that that's the what I'm looking for? Definitely have. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Is like thinking things off the top of my head. Um, I was I was thinking about a vault. In a lot of places, a vault would be good. But if the bazaar is right there and they offer to store your stuff for free. For safety, then. Uh, vault would be a, a nice place uh, if you want to have stuff. hidden stuff. Um, like, I would like, say you, you can get a secret room. Yes, it, it's actually it's an upgrade from a vault. A vault, a secret room is basically a better vault. Uh, okay. Tay for you, Let's... if you wanted an alchemy lab, it's four hundred and fifty gold. It is. But I'm not talking like just a little like table and stuff. I'm talking about an actual added on to the building alchemy lab that brings in goods and magic. Yes, let's, that that and like that gives you like alchemy workers. <laughs> if anyone else wants to invest in that with us, they're welcome to. Otherwise, me and Tay will split that cost a lot. All right, just make note. You can have a game room um, that kind of turns your place into a bar as well. Wait, we wanted a secret room, which is... Yeah, possible? that's what I'm getting to, is the secret room first. I think you said 350. Secret room so, is 350, correct. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. So it's... 500 for the base. Plus we're at 4150. We're, we're at 4150, and if we add in the alchemy that's thing... Math. That depends if you guys want to help pay for it with us, do you? Well, that can yeah. benefit everybody. Yeah, if it, it benefits all of us, like you just... Okay, said. we're at 40... So that was four fifty. You said we're at forty six hundred. Uh, do, 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 do. I would next, uh, since you now have a secret room, I would look at staff. Um, yeah, we need at least. Uh, we need staff for the kitchen. Let's say we need. You guys can get some elite guards at oh. 200 each. I don't know, sorry. You can, no, no, my bad. That was way, 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 way worse. 200 for five of them. Yeah, it's a I team of elite say, guards. Is that, but is that a weekly payment or what? Or is that just it, a flat fee? I have to add all of this together and every downtime session or every end of the night or whatever, I roll. Yeah, what yeah, everything is, and based on every, the individual stats of this building, I make this roll, and it lets me know how much it cost for that week, or that month, or that year. So I think just the five for now would be good. Hunt. So it could cost, you know, two gold a week or something like that. If if it's particularly busy, that they might have to be paid more or something like that. But the building has to see how much it made first, and then I subtract from that. I think that that's that would be. I just typed in chat. What I would guess for our size of establishment. Oh, we would need. That would be my guess at the amount of people we'd need. Those places, the all that comes with the. I'm saying this is on top of the our the other thing that you already have. Like you need guards for your 
your vault and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so we've already got cooks, a waiter. Yeah, it's already got what it needs included in those other places. Yeah, no, the vault doesn't come with anybody to guard it. So right now, we're sitting at a thousand each. Yeah. No, it would be... They, they, they're all just called guards, laborers. It would be a thousand each. We're at 4,800 right now. Okay. So the the laborers, they all come with it. You can get just regular guards at um, 120 a piece. Or sorry, 120 for five. I, I think but, the leads are, are fine. Yeah. I, I figured for the price difference, it didn't matter yeah. upon hiring them. Uh, let's see. Any, Especially when anything you else that you can five. think of. Um, you can get a fortification. Nice <laughs> um, for, for the vault if you wanted to increases the room's durability uh, that oh, would take 30 that. days do people in storm I was going to say when you said fortification do people in storm reach regularly have like raids and sieges on buildings and stuff no the city? but it would help against any kind of thieves in the future or anything okay. like that but I, that's something you can decide in the future um, there, there's like decorations and stuff you can get you can freaking add a sauna to the place for um Ooh, actually, you might want to do that. If you had a sauna, sauna for 160, say. yes. The benefit, Absolutely. the benefit to this, bonus on disease and negative level recovery uh, saves. So if you come back, that, I would got it. Okay. Do it. So yeah. So now we're at 49.60. Yep. And then I would, I would kind of wait on everything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with, with getting that. Okay, we didn't want to do the game room now? No. You, you could, but that, that was something I didn't say that was needed. Uh, I mean, you could open up a separate bar or add on later. Adding on will take time, but you guys will have time. Like, when when you go out on adventures and stuff like that, you've already paid. You pay ahead of time for the stuff to get built. When you get back, Actually, it gets built. Guys, we we got we to gotta add at least one more stable. Okay, okay. let's do it. Unless we we have, we ha please tell me that Julian teleported our burbs with us. Uh, for the hell of it, sure. Okay. <laughs> the, yes. You guys were looking around like, oh crap, birds, and then like, and then, and then yeah, they spawn like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have our burbs. We got to see birds. So there they go. Two of them. They were about the size of horses, so two of them can fit in one stall, and then the big the one yeah. takes a stall by itself. So we need at least one or two more stalls, and those were what? Two hundred. Three. Piece there were two hundred. Four horses. Were they two hundred? Um, I thought they were two fifty. One to two horses. There were two hundred each for a stable for one and two horses. No, there's there are three hundred each. Oh. Okay, so that puts us at fifty-two. That's good. Fifty-two ten. If we want to get just one extra one, but then our birds take up two of our three stables all the time. So if we just make it fifty-four ten, we've got two empty stables all the time. I think that's best to do. Yeah. Okay. All right, and that that keeps us at like eleven hundred gold each. A little and bit. Then tomorrow um i'll get the actual thing together so if somebody can send me a list of all the things that'll do it i figured what? as much <laughs> you already got it for the hell of it if there's one for sale like that if we can try to haggle that down in like five thousand there I, i'm giving you guys a break on the no time okay. yeah and that's enough so no time uh required no, no downtime you just ta -da, you find the one you need uh, all I'll need is a name and all the stuff in there, and then I'll do the uh, opening week. Uh, we'll we'll do the opening week as the start of Saturday's session. Okay. Am I am I missing anything else? I have as add-ons four stables, three bedrooms, a secret room, a sauna, and then basic end stuff like yeah. all the stuff it normally comes with. Uh, the elite guard. Oh, and the five elite guards. It's technically oh, one elite guard. It it counts as a unit. Oh. Yeah, but I'll I'll know that. All right. Fantastic. Wait, what are, what's the name of the bird that the birds? Um, axe beaks. Yeah, axe, axe beaks. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Time for the axe beak in. 
Yeah, because they're always out there. That's actually kind of smart. There you go. The axe beacon. <laughs> the big so, you guys buy the place, and I'm going to say that you guys get it all cleaned up and everything, the f and then do a grand opening, and we will uh, start next week with the grand opening Yay. of you guys' first business. And uh, lose 1,082 gold each. Yep. All right. So, no, let's do the end of the night questions. Garrett, what was something awesome that Garrett did tonight? Oh. Um, broke his arm to scare off the bull thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that was weird and funny. So random. Yeah, Seda. Something awesome that Seda did or Firu. Uh, should I do that cool little acrobatics thing? Yeah, that was cool. She did sneaky sneaky tail. I have. No idea. I was all sass today. That's awesome. You were all sass today. Sab. Sneaky, sneaky. Hi, Grief. Sab, sneaky, sneaky. Yes, yeah, Sab. Also, Chris, also sneaky, had, sneaky. She, had she actually forced me to do that strength check, I probably would have just accidentally ripped her top off. Yeah, that? that's what I was about to say. I, <laughs> I saw it going that way, too. That's right, Xandred. I agree. Then Sab would have just looked at it, looked at Seda, and then just gone. Etch. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys uh, want awesome quotes, like if you if you hear something funny, uh, if I haven't like noted it off the side, you can always just whisper it to me. My whispers, my whispers all get logged, so that way I can keep the quotes and put them in after the stream. So, so let's go in the second hole. Yeah. Wait, wait get a second. I am sorry for the fucking. Vex. Rabbit just Rabbit just brought up an interesting thing. He says he wants to invest in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I will see what I can do at the start of next session to have you guys help invest in the inn. The chat members can be in, can be yeah. patrons. Yeah. In yeah. So let me come up with something. I've got until uh, Saturday. I'll I'll do something cool. That's a really good idea. Yeah, and they can they can do things like they can order drinks and stuff. Good good idea, Rabbit. All right. Great idea, Rabbit. All right. So. Uh, Garrett, something awesome that somebody else did. Rabbit gets a hero point. <laughs> That's dangerous. You could use it on the enemies. <laughs> Is Tab turning Hans into... Oh, was it Hans? Into Mush? Yes. Sebastian. Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian was yes it was Sebastian, and then you got Hans. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, the chat members can be yeah, there we go. I can run the lab for you. Uh, Seda. Something awesome someone else did? There was a lot of things tonight that were really cool. Um. I really liked the genuine yeah, it was moment of confusion that Sab had tonight. And just like, I, I really liked Tay fighting with, um, What's her face? Melanie. 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 About how she was a changeling. <laughs> All right, Tay. Uh, Garrett making Tay laugh so freaking hard that it could be heard down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to be sneaky, sneaky, and I'm just laughing my ass <laughs> off on the other side. <laughs> Sab. Seda's quick run after she realized she was completely naked to go hide behind a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was great. All right, Garrett, what did you like about the session? It was pretty good. Yeah, uh, I, I want to see we, Garrett draw an all luminous. Yes, yeah, yes, you did. I'm, I'm gonna try Started draw slow, but then like sped up exponentially. Yeah. yeah. I'll try to do that. All right, Seda, what did you like about this session? Um, it was great, and we bought our first establishment. <laughs> I agree, Sandra. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, yeah, Tay. There's no loyalty in this world anymore. <laughs> I, I just. She's like off the there to like just. Melanie... Mythic surge, mythic surge. Yeah, I, just, I really like the fact that Melanie wasn't dead, and mm -hmm. I really hope that she comes back. 
I really hope we get to hear that. Yeah, she might. She she was given the gift by Kaz, so we'll see where that goes. I don't think that's the end of that story. She was dead. What? She used her changeling abilities. No, she used her changeling abilities to look like her throat was cut. You can't do that. Out of character, you can't she's do that. Also an al- out of, out of character, she's also an illusionist. Sab has it. What? She's an illusionist. Yeah. Uh, she she used, said she, she was used, an illusionist. She augments her changeling abilities with illusions. That's right. And my she's bad. super, so she super could changeling. use her changeling abilities to make it look like she is completely bled out by changing the color of her skin. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then yeah, she's really an illusion like No, it's not underage. Xander was talking about. Tay is very pouty. Uh, Sab, what'd you like? Sab, what'd you like about tonight? And just correcting Xander real quick. She's she doesn't appear underage. She's just young. She's like in her late teens. Yeah, All right, Sab. Tay is still technically seventy-four years old. Yeah. Well, he's asking oh, how does her like body appear. I thought. No, she was two hundred and twenty. So what's Sab like about tonight? I'm happy that There's Melanie wasn't dead, and. I was, I, I actually found it Dang honestly it. kind of more fun just sitting back and watching everyone else blunder through things a little more than I usually it do. Makes, yeah, it makes you feel a little bit more confident, like, okay, thank goodness it's not just me. That's <laughs> okay, my answer. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I still, still get into, get into things we didn't like. Right. right. Keep going. All right. Garrett, what do you not like about tonight? Hmm. There's a logic question about that. <laughs> Hey, I totally, I totally blew Melanie's mind with, if I don't trust myself, what do I have? <laughs> we didn't cut the climbing enough holes. Yeah. <laughs> you got the second hole, that's all that matters. Seda. <laughs> so, so it's not, not really that I disliked, disliked it. it, it's, it's something, something that, that happens that they, the rest of the party doesn't want me to separate or touch things. things. But I was exploring, and I was like, guys, can you come with me? And no one was coming with me, so I was like, okay, Minotaur, can I get by? And then they all had to run out and leave because they were going to kill us. <laughs> all right, Tay. <laughs> what did you not get about tonight? I that Melanie left. Yep. I, like that. I mean, I knew, I knew it was inevitable. She was leaving Rabbit. at the Storm Reach, but I was hoping she'd hang around a little longer. All right. Sad. There's just way too many of those freaking minotaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Damn minotaurs. All right. Uh, let's see. They're so snarky, too. Yeah, they, yeah, wanted, they were. I wanted to ask Julian if he knew what the necklace was. Oh, yeah. I don't think he did. What matters is we have the wand of Owlbear somewhere. Yeah. We have the wand of Owlbear. Uh, we we could have named our inn the, the Owlbear Luchador Inn. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's going to be your... your Fight club leader, yeah. right there. It's just gonna be ran yeah. by your owlbear. Dude, nope. that'd be an excellent. That'd be an excellent. Everyone movie. comes in the owlbear and just starts. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> Poo. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, listen close, because the first rule of owlbear fight club is I'm gonna let my my chief take it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Like, is there anything the else owlbear. that I can do better, like, Garrett? Not tempt him to break his arm. <laughs> just, just to see what happens. You there, Garrett? What was that statement? Yeah, sorry. What was the, uh, sorry, is there anything that I can do better? Nope. Woohoo, Seda. Uh, no, I liked it. Yay, Tay. Stop taking away the things I love. No. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. First it was just gotta familiar. find some way to close now this power gap between everyone who's demon controlled and not. Wait, what's up? You so have a gotta way. find a way to close the power gap between the demon controlled oh, and yeah. not. You have a way. You have the technology. <laughs> <laughs> not without not being a barbarian. <laughs> Zantra, yeah. <sighs> All right, let's see. Uh, Garrett, no Garrett, what do you look forward to next time? Oh, see what a new investment can you get us? Yeah, Seda. Add that, add that also. Tail. I want to explore Stormreach. Yeah. And investment in Stormreach. Woo! Yeah, yeah let's see here. Uh, 
everything. Let me give you guys a good picture of Stormreach. And sad. Investment. Stormreach. I want to try and buy a very specific magical item if I can find it. And on top of that, I would also like to put point out that since this is the first real, you know, investment, clearly we're getting all brand new experience. So all of those experience points should really just give us a level based on the first level progression. <laughs> what? <laughs> we should all clearly become first level in keeps as well. Oh, <laughs> no, not yet. Dude, why are my pictures not showing up? What's the hell? They're all going to show up at once. Tiny. No, yeah. they just showed up all at once on my screen. Just Google it. That's what I did. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Is that is that a silver flame place? Uh, no, that is not a silver a flame place. Of, um, you can, you can see like there. Wall. I like how they added the airships and stuff. Wall is no no. Um, yeah. that is supposed to be that area right there. The temple of Vol. That's a no no. What? How is there? I thought I thought the whole Vol thing was like completely outlawed everywhere. Not in Stormreach. Dun, 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 dun. That's why I said everything here has been like rumor. So yeah, number twenty-five. Let's see here. The House Kundrak Enclave is this. Your your silver flame thing is right here, by the way. Lyrander's got a shipyard out here. Yep, that's why you see all these airships in that picture. So that'll help about a lot. It's a shame we don't have a. Oh my gosh, I forgot their house. There name. you go. <laughs> exactly, Elbog. Exactly. Your imagination. His power. Alright, everybody gets their hero points restored uh, that they used tonight, and of course the GM hints restored. Uh, and let, let's just have a quick poll um, to see if you guys. Where is my polls? Oh my gosh, there we go. That went dark really fast, Snake. Oh, he's getting... <laughs> <laughs> All right, should the party level? Yes or no? Everyone hit zero. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra's just like zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> that means that means like no, they should go back down to zeroth level. <laughs> If anybody votes for for one, oh, no! all right, you guys don't level. One person what? voted for one. <laughs> what? Denimal. <laughs> Elbog wants us to use our imagination for what they voted for. <laughs> all right. Well, that ends that pretty pretty swiftly there. Uh, you didn't six. Explain the rules before they voted. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yes, one with 60 votes, uh, or with 60 votes, with six. Votes. <laughs> I'm just yeah. adding an extra zero for the hell of it. All right, everybody levels up. Hooray! Woo! Yeah. Oh for the God. hell of it. Hey. For familiar! One session level. <laughs> Imagine all the people. Oh my God, I'm so all right. happy. I can focus on Cavalier <laughs> for my next level. <sighs> all right, so you guys level because chat loves you. Uh, we love you, chat. You will be our loyal employees. <laughs> Tay is finally going to get the improved know, Let's so see here. Alright. That thing's, like, crazy awesome, too. Mm -hmm. Although, to be fair, it's, like, gonna constantly be pinging evil on you three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> I forgot about that. And if it's still kids, like, 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 hey, Alright guys, here it comes. This is a special hunt. Special hunt. I don't even know how much gold I have right now. I don't know either. Three minutes and, and 46 <laughs> seconds is going to be the special hunt. What happens here is there's a very high chance of losing for everybody that comes in. If everybody, or if somebody participates and they win, then the dragon won't uh, attack anytime soon, basically, tomorrow night's stream. If 
nobody wins, the dragon will come back and start taking everybody's gold until somebody defeats him. So somebody needs to defeat him tonight, or he's going to be back tomorrow night taking everybody's gold. I, I, I hit silver adventure. Congratulations. What are you doing? What's, what are we, what is streaming tomorrow night? Tomorrow night is PS2 Thursday. Shy is going to play, be playing Shadow of the Colossus. That's a good question. Thank you for asking. Uh, oh, make sure. You didn't want to jump right back into more Dead Space stuff? <laughs> no, that's only on Tuesdays. I need at least five days to recover. Uh, just letting you guys know that if you do win, your payout is 250% of what you put in. Uh, no, it, it won't happen to the people that aren't here. It only happens to the people that are in chat. So if everybody like left chat all of a sudden, I guess it will work. I don't know. It it there's a bit of delay. Nothing improves the odds of killing the dragon. The odds of killing the dragon are always the same. It's the ancient dragon. I want to work on a system that will change a lot of the output as far as like what the ancient dragon does when it comes in. Alas. Can't do it. You should just bet everything. By the way, do you get 100 uh, every day or is no, it just, just the first time? No, just the first time. And as you sit here and enjoy the stream, more is earned. Yeah, since I didn't bet anything all day today, I'm already back up at 100. Yep. I was at zero. Yep. Nope, if you destroy this ancient dragon, like if you beat it, that's it for the ancient dragon. Something else will come in probably to take its place. Maybe another ancient dragon, but that is that ancient dragon slain and you take its horde. That's why you get 250% of what you put in, what you bet, basically. Only a few more minutes left. I'm leveling up. And email this over to you. We didn't, okay, we didn't get a mythic tier, did we? No. Darn. As Zandrid said, that was back in the other th place. All right, the hunt should be up good soon. Thing I didn't, it's a good thing I didn't print out uh, the new sheets today, because that would have been pointless. 43 seconds. I just wrote over <laughs> my old ones. All right, guys. I'm going to bet it all just for the hell of it. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> all the I guess it doesn't really matter for me, but... <laughs> For everybody else. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Bring forth the dragon! If everybody loses, no. You lose money plus what you put on the hunt. As long as one person wins. Oh, oops. Yeah, we knew the tower was the mythic tier, but we uh, we also don't know if it's like an ultra mythic tier or how 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 much harder it was going to be, and we were all realistically. <laughs> what, what the hell I haven't bet it all tonight or the last night. Yeah, but you got to remember that every time we're streaming, this is up, just collecting money. So I'm just betting it all. <laughs> Let's do it. Does only one person win against the dragon? No. Multiple people, so multiple can, win. people can. So it's a high chance of failure. Mm -hmm. Let's see this hunt. Do I lose it all? We'll find out this time in a minute and a half. And then after that, we will end the stream. But yeah, tomorrow night, Shadow of the Colossus with Shy. And yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys uh, spin gold somehow. I gotta create the, the spending command and basically tell you, you can just tell me what it's for. 
it won't translate directly like gold piece for gold piece uh, just because the the inflated value of it Who's the scooty scooty scoop scoop scoop? No, you um, gain five times your investment, so you'd get five hundred. Where is? I do that too. Two hundred fifty percent is five times investment. Okay, so rabbit said more polls on how the end. Yeah, I said that. Oh. That's what I was responding to. Oh, hunt's begun. Hunt's begun. The monster was defeated. Oh! Damn. Congratulations. Yay. I'm down to zero. Almost a thousand lost, oh, just like that. Man. I Sad bet phase. 75 and got 262. Friday is a straw poll on what we do. So the actual the actual value, I got three and a half times what I invested. All right, congratulations on defeating the dragon. The initiate finally made something. <laughs> All right, so let's change that back down. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Had a blast. Thank you. We will see you guys. Also, before we cut off real quick, I just figured out why Tay was back to initiate. If you get to a higher rank and then you lose it, no matter how high you were, you are back at initiate if you go down enough until you get to the next rank above what you were last at. Gotcha. Because mine is initiate even though I am past silver threshold. Because I never got to gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I get, I got you now. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching. We we'll catch you hopefully tomorrow. If not, hopefully for Saturday's D and D session where we get to see how the end did. Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.